Today's quick tip is going to be about how we can force users to upgrade their native apps if we release a new version on the store. Uh, this question came to me from uh, Appson, I hope I said that right, uh, which is Keith. So, so Keith was asking how, or if we have a component that would force users to upgrade um, their version of their software uh, on their phone, and I, I explained to him that you don't need to have a version of, or you don't need to have a component to actually control the version numbers. We can use that or do that with stock Adalo stuff. So we're going to go through how we can force a user to upgrade if we've released a new version of our software and force them to upgrade to that new version. So the first thing we start with, is so we add a collection, we're going to call this software versions. So this is pretty common practice where we have a software versions uh, database table. And we call this version number. And we just start with a new record and we call this initial release. Yay, because we have shipped our first version to the store. Um, so the next thing we wanna do is add an information screen. We call this update, please. Because we're Canadian, we like to put the word please. And then we add some text here. And we say, uh, we have released some new and exciting features to this app better support you. Please upgrade to the latest version. And you can always pretty this up by, by adding a button. And this button, you can link it to a website. And the website would be the link to the Play Store for where your app is published so that they can click on this and go straight into the Play Store or the App Store. Uh, I think there's a component that exists um, I think it was uh, uh, Knight who, who released it from Visual, Visual Dev Studios. I, I hope I got that right too. Uh, and you can do sometimes visible on this if you're on iOS, Android, or web. Uh, and you don't need to do it on web because web will always have the latest version. So we'll just delete that button for now and we'll leave this text, pretty it up as you see fit. So now the next thing that we have to do is on the home page, we take an action and we link to the update please page. And we're going to do this sometimes. So this will only happen if the software version from our data table, if the version number maximum is greater than one. So one is our initial release. When we run this, oh, let's actually, let's just put a, put an app bar with nothing on the left. We'll call this home, just so we know where we are. So we're on the home screen and we can use our app as, as the initial release, everyone can do what they need to do with it. Then what happens is we build this, we release it, we start working on the next generation of this app. When we're ready to release the next generation of this app, then we go and we can change this number. We're gonna release a new version. So this number here becomes two. And then we build this and we release this to the store. Once we do that, anyone who's installed the old version of the app, their version will say one because it's compiled in the app. We go into the database and you have two options here. If you actually wanna remember all of the versions that you do, you can add a new software version. If you don't really care, you can just update the record. So we'll do it this way for now. We call it version two. This here, is looking for greater than one. When we preview this, we now go to the, we have released something exciting and new. We don't put a back button on this. 
So they can't use the software until they click on the link that we've put here to the store and update their version to the next build, which has this set to version two. So the other way, again, if, if you wanted to, <coughs> just for your own internal records, you can say uh, we fixed some bugs in the products page. And that's version number two. And doing this will actually have a record or a history of, of all the releases that we're going to do in the store. It takes a bit of due diligence, but that's software development. The last thing is we're only putting it on the home page. In 99.9% of the time, putting it on the home page is fine because people will close your app. When they open the app, they'll have this message. Uh, if it's a really, really important change and a really, really important software, you might want to put this action on every one of your pages so that no matter where they go or no matter where they are in the software, as soon as you change this number or add this new record, they will get the notification to say, here, you have to go and update to the newest version. So that's it. And that's, uh, that's how we force users to upgrade their, their software uh, on their phone using Adalo. I hope this helps.